CETV presents the official countdown to the 2023 Chow Racing Tournament of Champions here on America's favorite virtual sports entertainment program, Chow Racing 2023, for the week of December 10th. The action starts off with week 17 of the men's division portion. Everyone is on the clock and ready to go. Let's have a challenge! Everyone's gearing off for next week's tournament of champions. But tonight, Ben Henderson, Buster Jamo, Thomas Linguana, and Daniel Heenan start off week 17's men's division races on the power course. And here they come, Nick Wayne's West Benchline, and it's going to be Thomas Linguana who's going to get the job done. Thomas Linguana is the first victor as we prepare for the annual Tournament Champions in Nairobi, Kenya. And now, here's your host, Brandon Channing. Thank you so much, Paul. All my Chow Racing fans, welcome to another edition of our show as we count down to the annual Tournament of Champions, which will take place in Nairobi City in Kenya. In just one week from now, we will all find out who's got what it takes to become Supreme Champion for the 2023 Chow Racing Championship season. Right now, we're doing week 17 on the men's division for the first portion of our show. And a big congratulations to Thomas Wayne Grano on passing the test on the power course. Let's find out who we're having race number two and a bit. So don't go anywhere to the end. We'll count out to the tournament. This week's program on Channel Racing 2023 is sponsored by Ross. All right, so Brandon Shannings and Paul Sycamore are ready to call all the action for our countdown to the 2023 Tournament of Champions, which will take place in Nairobi, Kenya. That's right, we got 12 ep epic races that are just as hyped up as the tournament itself. This one will have Gary Coles, Bruno Alonso, R.C. Jenkins, and Ethan Kingsley. That's for race number two on the men's mission portion, and it will be held on the Amethyst course. So here's a look at the lineup, and while we're getting ready to pack our bags for night will be one more time, let's wish these next four chat best of luck. Good luck to four of you, and let's mark this place! And Gary Coles is for the which means Bruno, Ozzy, and Ethan will have the opening edge. Right now, it is Ozzy Jenkins, who has command out of lean, with Ethan Kingsley, the hard chain master, not too far behind in second place. And now gonna make the way to us measures. Looks like Bruno Alonso is heading for the water. As the first superstar I guess beat bus on this week's program is number one. Well, actually, Ben Henderson took a speed bus on the last race, so technically this is the second speed bus of this week's program. Anyway, number one got the first speed bus on this race. And who will get speed bus number two as Bruno and Ozzy bound for the lead? It is number seven of the Silver Chow. And right now, Bruno is bowing with the young competitors. He tosses to the crowd. Ozzy is trying to hold off Ethan Kingsley for the one win. It's going to be across from down to the wire. And Ozzy Jenkins is our winner as Bruno Alonso gets the bus. So Ozzy is now up to eight wins for the season. Right, and we'll have more exciting action coming up on our countdown to the 12 minute champions. Do not go away. Alright, Paul, let's move on to race number three. And here we have Dominic P. Harrells, Garrett Dayton, Eric Crosby, and OG Upton in the first of three Sapphire Course contests for the men's division portion. So, away we go, and you know how we play this one off. We use our strength for the first part, and then use the swimming ability for the second part. Everyone is on the clock, so without further ado, please start the race. Alright, let's see how the game plan will fare for these next four superstars. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the Belgium Chow Racing Stadium, no matter what the real weather is in the Chow Empress Real Earth World. And it looks like OG Upton was going to rest along with number one. Right now, up in the front, Dominic P. Howells is trying to defend the lead over Garrett Dayton. And right now, they are making their way towards the wall. That's the first obstacle on the Sapphire Course. 
and Eric Crosby, who was also going to rest for a moment, takes the first three on his face, currently catching up to OG up there battle for third place. Dominic and Garen are approaching the top of the wall. Now they're going to make their way past Waterfall. And there goes Dominic P. Hammers with Speedrun number two. Trying to pull this one away from Garen Dayton. Oh, Garen might need some help from all his gonna stop fan crubbies. If he wants to catch up to Dominic at home stretch. Right now they're approaching the home stretch at the current moment. And it looks like Eric Crosby will get another turn. That makes his second speed bus of the race. Dominic P. Howell should have this race all wrapped up. If Garrett Dayton does the guest speed to make the pass. Yep, it is number seven who got that next speed bus. And so Dominic P. Howell tallies up his seventh win of his 2023 season tonight. Congratulations to Dominic on in order. Right, Dominic P. Harris is a winner once again. Let's hope he keeps it up next week. We'll be back racing number four in a moment. And now it's time for race number four. Yes, this next one will have our defending world champion with us, Bobby K. As he takes on Patrick Garner, Eli Hauser, and Leon Onesta. This is the first of two races to first of two matchups scheduled on Ruby Quest this week. So let's see how well they will swim across the pool area. Or at least how to say the least. Good luck to form you and let's have a job race. And as we are next to go best, Bobby K quickly made it to the water. Can he hold on Patrick and Elia for another 5 and 3 in his 2024 World of EP campaign thus far this season? Looks like it's going to be a good win for Bobby K if no one gets to beat us. I think so too. Yes, sir. We. Bobby K is our winner as the Lighthouse will get to us. Which means Bobby is now up to 12 wins for the 2023 season. That's fine. Never give up, champ. Or at least fan club means it. Lots more fun as in this announcement. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the countdown to a tournament champions. That's fine. Next, we have Mitch Carmel, Ernie Sanchez, TJ Edwards, and no one else. This is race number five for the second of three matchups on the power course. So, let's place balls on the field once again. And we wish the next four superstars all the best in hopes of becoming a winner. Please start the race. So as we did with race number one, we push the balls to the other side on the rainbow path. And the first superstar to make it cross page one, regardless of the standing, will be declared the winner. And right now, it's going to be a close one between Mitch and TJ down to the wire. And it's going to be TJ Edwards who's going to win the battle over Mitch Carmel. TJ is a winner this week. That's fine. And we'll find out what will happen in the next race after we know a word from this. Well, we got one more race before we head into our halftime break, Paul. That's fine. To wrap up the first half of Week 17's Men's Mission portion, we got Ramon Shorty taking on Alex Markison, Kenny Days, and Donald Rennings. So, this will be the second of our three Amethyst Quartz contests for our schedules, like we do every week. Let's see how this one will fare. I know race number two was a good one, but let's see how well race number six will fail in round two. Everyone's on the clock, and let's rock this play! And Kenny Days is for the best, and so is Van Juan Shorty. That means Alex Marcus and Don Rennings will be bowing out in the opening edge. And right now, it is Donald Rennings who has to come in on the lead. With number one leaning over the fourth to the channel, and he's quarter best. And it looks like Alex Markinson is heading for the water, trying to beat out Don Rennings towards the other side. As the first superstar against people is number two, who is trying to lead over the fourth to the channel with fair place. And there goes Alex Markinson. Oh, and down goes Don Rennings. He fell in the water. Well, he's trying to maintain momentum with his next speed bus. Trying to find the open hole as they make way towards the goal line. Donald Rennings is struggling to find the open hole. I think Alex Markinson is going to hold on for the victory. Yep. 
Alex Magnuson gets the job done, as Ben Marshall on team will have an XPS. Donald Banks is was unable to find the open hole to make the pass. Oh well, that you did pretty well, Donald. Alex, congratulations to you, and we'll have be back for the second half of Week 17's Masturbation Portion after these words. Alright, now let's head over to the second half of Week 17's Masturbation Portion. And first up, we have Jack Parson, Corey Sanchester, Brooks Robinson, and Bryson Dorant in the second Sapphire Course matchup of the evening. So there's a look in the lineup. We're doing the same thing as we did with Race Number 3. And here we go. Everyone's on the clock, and let's have a challenge! And it looks like number 7 is quarter best, so he will be left behind in the competition. Right now, it is Bryce Dorans who has command and lead. Down he goes for the count, and he is scored the Thus giving Jack Parson command and lead. Jack Parson trying to bow with Brooks Robinson and Corey Sanchez fully up in the front. As Bryson Dorans takes the first few on his face, and down he goes again. And right now, a couple of super chugging left behind. Number 8 pass from 1, and numbers 2 and 7 are both really need his help as well. Who's going to get that chance with speed number 2? It is number 2, that's who. Thus leaving number 7 eh? in the dust. Meanwhile, back up in front, Jack Parsons still has command on the lead. Bryson Thomas trying to catch up to the other competitors in a hurry. And it's bats in number 2, we go! And that will be enough to take the lead on the fourth of the child for fourth place. And right now, Jack Parson has some company. Bryson Dorrance is trying to find the open hole to make the pass from Jack Parson. But Jack Parson is going to hold on for the bit three. As number one takes his next spin class, Pimas, you can tell he went up for Jack Parson. He can be a winner for once, no matter how well his win loss records more fair. And we have just enough time for one more speed rush on this base, and we be by number eight. So, Tally went off for Jack Parson. Yep, he's a winner this week, at least for his heart desires. Back in the bed, do not go away. All right, Paul, let's simple enough race number eight now. Okay, we got Peter Foles. Annie Bond Grubber, Michael Creighton, and Kim Nickersburg for race 8. Ruby Course Contest number 2 coming up right now. The players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock, and please start the race! Alright, Ruby Course matchup number 2 starting right now. And it looks like Michael Creighton is going to make the pass from Peter Foles. With Kim Dickensburg right on his tail in second place. Here they come, making the way towards the line. And here's Kim Dickensburg with Speedbus. And Kim Dickensburg gets the win with that Speedbus. He's now up to three wins for the season. Yep, Kim Dickensburg Speedbus paid off nicely. Coming up, we got more say action for you, but first have a look at this. Paul still to come tonight is the main event for our tournament countdown show. That's why we will decide a new main event champion after Buster Jabo took home the three honors previously. Right now, for race number nine, we have Raymond Hill, Rusty Jackington, Barry Winfred, and Austin Gemmels in the third and last Pearl Course race of the men's division for our show. So, let's go back to the Pearl Course section and place the balls on the field one last time this week. The players line up ready to go, everyone is on the clock, and let's mark this place. So, who will be the last one to ace this Pearl Quest test? All you have to do is to push your balls on your side, and then make it cross the goal line right on the other side. That's all we have to do. I think Muzzy Jack is going to win this one, yep. Rossi Jackington gets the win tonight. He is now up to eight wins and also coming back next season. Never give up Rusty. His fans really mean it too. Lots more fun out in this announcement. Stay tuned. Well, now in race number 10 on the Emancipation side. Yeah, and we will. And this next one will have Stephen Robinson, Joshua Samoa, 
Dick Steiner and Riley Chester's. Amethyst Course Contest number three coming up from the men's vision side. Let's see who's going to pass this test for flying colors tonight. Please start the race! All right. Race number 10 and Amethyst Course Contest number three for this evening. Looks like number one was going to rest and so is number two. Riley Chesters and Steve Robinson are bowing frontally up at the front, with Dick Steiner not too far behind in third place over at the bridges. As Riley Chesters, one of the first people on this race trying to maintain the lead over the bridges. Joshua Summer is heading for the water path, trying to catch up with the other three competitors. And they're making their way towards Talon Hill. Who's going to win this one? Well, Joshua Summer is going to have the next command speed and it looks like Dick Stein's going to rest. I think Riley Chester's is finally going to get another win for the season. No doubt about it. Riley Chester's win race number 10. And for score, contest number 3 goes to Riley tonight. As uh, Dick Steiner, one of the last PS. How about that, Brandon? Riley finally got another win after losing for a while. I knew Riley would be a winner. Coming up, we got more science for you. But first, have a look at this. Alright, let's go to race number 11, Paul. Race number 11 will have Tate Miller, Chip Subay, Tess Ebbett, and Ricky Nelson for the third matchup on the Sapphire course this week. And then we'll get to our main event for our countdown to the Tournament of Champions. Good luck to these next four superstars on the quest for victory. And let's rock this place! Alright. Race number 11 is up next, and number 8 was scored best, so he'll be glad behind the competition. Right now, it is Tess Ebert, who has command of the lead over the 8 child right now, as they make the way to a star wall, and Tess Ebert is scored best, thus giving number 2 command of the lead. Chief Simmons having the best position battling with number 2 for the lead up in the front, as Tess Ebert will start the speed bus at the force of the best, and right now, Number 7 is going to rest, so he'll have to drop down the last place. Chip Subay also might need some help from the crowd while he climbs up the star wall. But right now, all eyes are on Tess Ebert as he gets back to back spears to battle with Ricky Nelson for the lead up in the front. They are making way towards home stretch, and Tess Ebert has command and lead, but Ricky Nelson is not giving up on his stream just yet as Tate Miller will have the next command spears, and Ricky Nelson has made the pass from Tess Ebert. Now defending the lead ahead of Tess Ever for the coming one, as number 7 will have the next speed bus. Ricky Nelson is going to get another fine win to his collection tonight. Ricky Nelson is our winner for race number 11. As the last speed bus heading into the main event, we made my number 2. Congratulations, Ricky, on order. I agree with you, Paul. Stay tuned. We'll determine our new main event champion right after this. So, I guess it's time to find out who's going to be our new main event champion. Yes, this week's main event will determine our new main event champion after Buster Jabo took on the previous three honors. This week, our main event from week 17 will have Vance Alfred Portis, Shane Flanningham, Larry Monroe, and KC Richardson. So, which one of these four remaining superstars will become our new Superstar Week honors? Let's head over to the Emma Course and find out. So, for the final time this week, it's best luck to remaining four men's mission superstars. Everyone's on clock, and let's have a challenge! 17th May event is presented by Chase. Make more what's yours with the all new Freedom Unlimited credit card with unlimited cash back. And by now on the fourth shot, I'm gonna shake the pottery's bring down that cook and shake food. And now I'm gonna eat the food. And there goes Larry Marmo. He is gonna have a command on the lean. And it looks like Shane Flanningham is going to rest. And so is Bears Alfred Portis. So Larry Marmo and Casey Richardson will have to push battle for the lead up in the front. 
as number seven trying to maintain the lead over the fourth with Chow will have will start on the few as for this base. Number two is at the one path along with one of the other Chow. And here comes Bans Alpha and Pointers with BS number two. There he goes. Flying over at the bridges with all his flying ability. And Shane Flanning have pauses from one trying to figure out a strategy. As the next BS we may buy. Number one. Who was powering with number eight for D life all the way in the back? Right now it looks like Casey Richardson is scoring the best. Now he's low in my won't have to push to catch up a little bit. As number eight, we'll get to it now. Who desperately needs to catch up every now and then? Meanwhile, up in the front, fans are fat pointers continues to battle for the lead ahead of Shane Flanningham. They are making their way towards the star wall to come on. And who had to find the game next speed bus? It is number one that makes his second speed bus of the base. And right now, Casey Richardson is trying to catch up to Shane Flanningham and Vance Alpha and Porters fully up in the front. And here's number eight with his second speed bus. And he takes away the lead and had a force switch out from number seven. And back up in front, Vance Alpha and Porters better watch out. Shane Flanningham starting to get into the groove. And so is Casey Richardson. Who is going to win? We'll find out soon enough. Next PS belongs to Larry Monroe. And right now, guess who has made the pass from Vance Alpha and Porters? It is Shane Flanningham trying to wrap things up or Vance Alpha and Porters. As number seven takes his second speed one of course, Shane Flanningham is our new main event champion who will win on week 17's main event. Number one has no hope for surviving whatsoever. And congratulations to Shane on winning the main event. Right, that's it for the men's vision. Back for the women's vision races after these messages.